So today I wanna to share with you five bass patterns that will change your production life forever. Now you can draw upon these bass patterns wherever you want and they work for any style of modern music, including electronic dance music and pop genres as well. I'm also gonna give you a bonus tip at the end to show you how to create completely original bass lines whenever you want. Now these bass patterns are used in some of the biggest EDM tracks of all time and I'm gonna give you examples of which tracks they're used in so you can relate to them and help apply them to your own music. Before we get into it, I'd just like to give a shout out to one of our students in the EDM Tips community, Kavunch, who has now got three releases on three different labels since he went through the EDM Tips training. Top work, Kavunch, we're really proud of you, man. If you're new to music production, you can download my free Music Producer Starter Pack below this video, which has got some samples and cheat sheets gonna help you get started. And without further ado, let's hop into the door and look at these five bass patterns that are gonna change your life. Let's do it. So here we go. First out, I wanna give it a shout out to Alex Rome, who inspired me to make this video. I wanted to build upon what he already started and give you the building blocks so you can actually take these five patterns and craft them into any bass pattern for any song. Now, before we dig into these patterns, we need to understand about note lengths because it's gonna be essential to understand these patterns and then create your own. So in most modern music, there are four beats to every bar and that's a four, four time signature. And that just means it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. So we are gonna be using six bass note lengths in the tutorial today. The first of which is four beats long, so it's a whole bar, and that sounds like this. The second is one bass note on every beat, just like the kick drum. And that's a one quarter note. The next is a one eighth note, so that's just, let's see, eight notes in every bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then sixteenths, which, as you would guess, there are sixteen in a bar, and that sounds like this. And then the last two are kind of halfway in between those. So if we go back to the eighth note, so there are eight in each bar, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we are going to be using dotted eighth notes, and that just means one and a half eighth notes. So that is like this. And together, that's a dotted eighth, and the last one is a dotted quarter note, which is, as you would expect, one quarter note, and then half again, like this. And these dotted notes are what's gonna give us a nice groove to our bass lines. So let's dig into each of those five bass lines that I promised you. And the first is a dotted eighth bass line, and that sounds like this. And as I said, it gives it a syncopated rhythm which keeps the groove going forwards. And this is the bass uh, pattern that is used in Major Lazer and DJ Snake's Lean On. So if we turn this down a bit in terms of tempo and we put on some plucks, these aren't the same notes from that track, by the way, but you should be able to hear that groove. So if you see, if we go into this bass line, you can see all I've done is got eighth, dotted eighth notes. So that's an eighth and a half, eighth and a half, eighth and a half, and it gives it that swing feel. And if you want to know how to create bass lines and which notes to actually use, then you can click the video that's on or around there. So this is one of the most popular, this dotted eight. This is essential. So now let's go on to the sustained bass line. And this is used in tracks like Ghosts and Stuff by Dead Mouse. It's also used by a few tracks by Eric Prids. And this is just a long sustained note. So that's just a long sustained note. Super good for progressive house, things like that. Now let's go on to essential bass pattern number three, which is the straight eight. And this is the simplest really, I should have perhaps done this first, but instead of using dotted eighth notes, you can see I've just got an eighth note repeated. This is the exact bass pattern used in Wake Me Up by Avicii. And I've actually copied the bass notes for that, for, for this example. So let's have a quick listen to the straight eight. And this is perfect to use with a sidechain compressor to make it duck out the way of the kick 
which gives it a bit more rhythm, a bit more interest. And if you want to know how to sidechain things, then you can click the link that is around this video now as well. Okay, on to essential bass pattern number four, and this is the straight 16th. Now, much like the straight eighth, there are no dotted notes here. It's just kind of one note on every 16th. And if we speed this up, you'll hear this is perfect for trance, stuff like side trance, and it's actually used in Greyhound by the Swedish House Mafia, this bass pattern. And again, perfect to use with a pump compressor, a sidechain compressor. You can see it's ducking it out the way of the kick. That's without it on. So yeah, fantastic pattern if you're producing trance of any genre. And yeah, that's my essential bass pattern number four. Now, number five, this is where things get really interesting. This is where you can actually combine several of these different bass patterns. So if we turn the tempo down again, get our kick on, then you will hear, get our kick on. This is actually the bass pattern that is used in Firestone by Kygo. But I've used the different notes uh, because it's a different track. But these are the ex that, that's the exact same bass pattern. And what I've done here is use two dotted notes here. There's an eighth dotted note or a dotted eighth. There's an eighth dotted note. There's an eighth. Then we go back to the eighth dotted note there, there, and then the eighth. So you can see how you can combine these, these building blocks uh, and just put them into your own bass lines. So if we were to perhaps add some 16th notes at the end there. And we'll turn off the side chain compressors so we can really hear what's happening here in terms of the pattern. And another top tip that you can use is actually change the bass note one eighth before the end of the bar. And that's what we've done on this sustained bass. And if you hear this flourish at the end of the sustained bass that we listened to earlier, these are actually dotted eighth notes. So again, I've combined the sustained notes with the dotted eighth notes to create this effect. Sustained, and then we change the bass note just before that bar to add some extra push forward. More eighth note dotted eighths. And that's how you create groove, how you keep pushing things forward in your track. Okay, I promised you a bonus, so this is it. If you've got a track like Calvin Harris and Florence Welsh, Welsh? Florence, that one, uh, like Sweet Nothing, the verses actually use this dotted eighth pattern. But different notes because the chords are different. But on the drop, or on the chorus, he actually switches to using the straight eight. And this creates dynamicism in your track, this creates interest. So you don't have to use the same bass pattern throughout the whole track. You can use one bass pattern for the verse, you can use another bass pattern for the drop or the chorus. So there you go guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this. You can create any bass line you want with these tips here. Um, so practice them. Let me know which one you like most in the comment. And thank you so much for watching. So there you have it, guys. They are my five essential bass patterns that every producer should know. And if you want more training, you can join the EDM Tips community if you like. It's way more than actual courses and things like that. We've got a community. We've got feedback each and every week to help you really improve your electronic dance music production. So if that sounds good to you, do check it out below. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, cheers and happy producing. Oh,